Namaste everyone, I'm going to do a video today about um, confidence in a guy and I know a lot of people have been requesting I do a video like this after the last video I did um, kind of left you wondering you know what it is that um, makes a, a man confident or how to gain that confident or confidence to attract you know women that you do want okay now you have to keep in mind that we're living in a very different society than what we used to live you know back in the in the Pisces age okay we're now in the Aquarian age and romance is not the main theme okay if you guys look at Pisces um, you will see that the sign denotes to um, softness sensitivity romance um, mysticism and you had that vibe you know we had that that Christian era of belief of you know of that, that Neptunian uh, energy of of being dreamy okay but now we have uh, Aquarius okay now we have Aquarius and Aquarius is uh, an air sign and it pertains to technology it could also pertain to being superficial okay and you could see it a lot you know you could see it a lot in the media you could see a lot of people um, not caring too much about feelings but really caring about how they look like okay and that is an Aquarian uh, type of energy so a guy's confidence in today's society is a person that um, gets a lot of girls okay gets to sleep with a lot of girls um, has abs you know has a, a big body a very muscular body um, and he has a job that you know pays him very well this is what society or this is what the ads in the media is portraying okay so as a result what he does is that um, some of them watch a lot of porn okay some of them go to the gym and then um, they have no, no family <clears throat> they have no family they have no they have no no intention to create a future okay because this is what the media is constantly constantly bombarding them with okay and it's sad because a lot of people that have commented on my on the section you know my other comment section in, in my other video um, they're young kids that really want help okay and I appreciate that you know a lot of kids that are 19 20 or 18 or whatever I consider them kids because I'm not that age anymore so anybody that's below 30 it's a kid for me but you guys are in a new era and a lot of you are confused because a lot of you don't have parents a lot of you don't have father figures to teach you the right way the right path so you're gonna be online all day and you're gonna just you know be confused okay and not have a clue why you're being so um, why you're being a failure in you know getting the girl that you want now women also need advice to you know interact with men today you know I too you know I usually go to you know dating sites to see it in a men's perspective you know about things so you know the female and the male they both need to you know understand what's lurking in their mind so they could you know act appropriately so they could act appropriately so I think the first thing that um, that would make a man confident and I think it's very very important today society is that he starts to switch what he watches on the media. The principle of mentalism is the first thing in you know that you have to work on when it comes to the, the seven hermetic laws. Okay, so what I would do is I would switch what you're watching, which I think I know a lot of you are watching the porn, is to switch it to romantic movies. Okay, start watching chick flicks. Okay, and leave that porn stuff behind. That's just going to pollute your mind to a degree that. Um, it's very dangerous, okay? I've seen the effects of, you know, kids that start at 13 and by the time they're like 20 um, They start to talk like a rapist pretty much, you know, on, on social media, okay? They start harassing and degrading and, and they start humiliating people, you know, the women online Okay, so you don't want to get to that point because you're going to you're going to start scaring women away so get away from that and you know start introducing lighter stuff you know like romantic comedies and you know, shit flicks you know you know go to the go to the store and see you know what what are chicks watching what were they digging okay that soft side get in touch with that soft side of you once you get in touch with that soft side of you the second thing you have to do is build that confidence okay physically okay if you feel like you're not attractive okay if you feel like you you might be a little bit overweight then lose the weight work on that okay let that be the motivation of working on that it's not going to guarantee you a date okay because let me explain something to you a lot of people or I could say a lot of men think that just because they look a certain way that they're going to get the girl and that's not that's not the case okay if you're going to go up to a girl and you feel like you're confident um, that's good okay a simple hello or hi there it's good if she responds good 
If she doesn't, well, then just move on. But a lot of men think that um, uh, they, it didn't work because they weren't projecting the confidence. And no, that's not the case. The case is that she just was not interested. Women are not uh, creatures that don't know what they want, okay? Women are just like men. They see something they like and they go after it, okay? They, it's not a mystery. I've seen a lot of pickup artists YouTubes where they're, they're actually getting the girl drunk, which is actually cheating because anybody that's drunk doesn't know what they're doing anyway. So they go up to them and they think that just because they got their number that um, they they're victorious okay and the girl is drunk so she doesn't know what she's doing anyway so it kind of defeats the purpose I and mean, I don't really know you know it, make, it makes no sense to me why they would do something like that but to me I, I think that giving a number out is pretty easy I give my number out all the time the, the hard part is how long would you last without me blocking you okay and usually it's because people you know the guys that um, that you know come up to me are probably you know they just want a one night stand or they just want you know but they, they're just perverted, okay? So, you, you know, you just end up blocking them. I don't see anything wrong with giving anybody's number out, okay? Um, if one of those pickup artists are out there and they ask me for my number, I would probably give them my, I would probably give them my number, but um, that's not really the challenge. The challenge is how long can you keep me on the phone without me blocking you, okay? And I don't think they understand that. So, um, try to understand. The second thing is try to understand that attraction is very important. Try to make yourself more tr as attractive as you can and try to see what that other person that you like, okay, if you, if you like someone, try to see what they like, okay, and do your best, okay, if it works out, good, if it doesn't, you know, just move on to the next person. There, there's actually more women in this world than men st statistically, okay, and that's why in China, back in the ages, I think they used to, you know, kill the females, okay, because they were overpopulating, so that right there should tell you that you should move on. Okay, and not stick to one. Now, when you're going up to a female, do not pet her. And what I mean pet her is that um, don't be saying, well, you're beautiful or, oh my God, you're so beautiful or um, uh, I just want to be with you. Don't pet her because that, that's called uh, trying to stroke a person's ego so you could get something that, you know, back. Okay, and women sense this. Okay, women are very intuitive and they know when you want something. And if they sense that you're trying to pet them, okay, to get your way, to get a number, or to get laid, then they're going to back off. So try to ease off from flattery. I think you should put someone in a pedestal once you're in a relationship with that person, not before, okay? It doesn't give you the consent to do that. You're not her boyfriend, okay? So try to keep it as neutral as possible. Hey there, you know, hi, you know, hi, I'm Ryan. You know, that simple stuff is fine. If she responds, good. If she doesn't, move on. Now, the third thing you want to do is you want to get a lot of female friends. You want to hang out with women a lot. Why? Because when a woman sees that a man is hanging around a lot of women and the women like him and they feel comfortable around him, then that woman will automatically be drawn to him and be curious to see what is it that the other women are smiling about. Um, why is Why are they surrounding him? What's so good about him that's surrounding him? But if you are a man that's alone, okay, walking alone all the time, and you're attending events alone all the time and you just have guy friends and that's uh, scary for a woman because um, biologically you know women stay away from the situations because they don't want to be you know um, they don't want to be approached by a couple of men because it's kind of intimidating okay remember the, the women is a little bit you know weaker physically so instinctively she'll just back off of that but if you come in a non-threatening way if you come with a lot of women and you're in a party or you're in a get-together or in, a, in an event and there's just a lot of women talking to you they're just friendly you know and fun and there's no sexual you know chemistry it's just you know very friendly energy then you're just going to attract more women like that most definitely I would because I would not I would not be attracted to a guy that looks like you know a loner okay and you know he's just staring at women like this you know and trying to, he, he, he can't talk to women, he's, he's shut. You know, that would scare me, okay? And I've seen this, I've, I've been to, to malls and stores where um, I'm buying something and the guy's like this, and he's like, hi. And he, he doesn't stop staring at me, and, and, and I get freaked out because I don't realize what's going on, but I just freak out because I'm like, what's wrong with this guy? He just, you know, stares at me like this. And he's like, hi again. And I'm like, oh God, I gotta get out of here. So you gotta avoid that situation, okay, of being frozen, okay? If you have that problem, work on it. Work on your speech, work on your presentation, okay? 
And again, that has to do with um, mingling with other women because you, you get that vibe, that softer vibe, and you're not scared of women anymore, okay? You won't be scared of women anymore. If you start hanging with women, you're not going to be scared of women anymore. Where do women hang out? Easy. Go on the internet and find out where, where the women hang out in your local area. If it's a yoga place or... Usually people, a lot of women hang out in the yoga place, okay, where, where they do yoga. Um, women go to clubs a lot. I wouldn't really, you know, recommend clubs if you're looking for something serious, okay. Um, if you go to a, a dating, you know, event, a lot of women attend, a lot, okay, more than men. I'm telling you, I've been to those. Um, the, the women are everywhere, okay. You just have to see where they mingle the most and try to make friends there, okay. Try to get into some sort of crafts, you know, that you could start crafting something, maybe doing pots, you know, um, or workshops, okay? And it doesn't matter if you're the only men, that's actually even better, okay? Because now you get to, you know, interact with more women, now you got more women for you. So I think that's, that's a great idea, okay? So I hope that these tips help you, you know, build your confidence up and try to, you know, get a, a woman that you want, okay? And remember, um, try to be presentable don't be wearing you know nothing because then it, it comes off like too sexual and that you just want to get laid so try to be a little bit more conservative try to get females okay try to you know watch romantic movies okay um, the most and leave the other crap behind um, and try to understand that not everybody's gonna like you okay and it's not personal okay everybody has their own taste and you do too Okay, so I hope this video helps and namaste.